All right, so now we've got our lighting set up and uh, with the garage light, we're able to clip that kind of anywhere or you can have somebody hold it for you. It just depends on what you want to do. And then on the, on, on the iPhone, as on most other devices, there are several settings, right? So uh, one of my favorites is to take the filter and go to Vivid. When you go to Vivid, you get a very different look to your photo. Uh, Vivid just pops the color and it tends to overexpose a little bit. Uh, the actual mechanics of that aren't nearly as important as the fact that it makes a much nicer, more appealing photo. And the other setting that I use um, uh, when I'm trying to get a really nice photo is the, uh, the portrait mode. Portrait mode works best when you have good lighting. So if you don't have lights, portrait mode is really hard in the kitchen or in the dining room. And then you can see that you get a little bit uh, darker, richer colors. And then in portrait mode, it tends to soften the outside of the frame. There's uh, other options for portrait mode as, as far as uh, studio light, natural light. And then you can also use the vivid setting in portrait mode. And with an iPhone, I think that probably takes uh, the highest quality photo that you can without having to spend a great deal of money on, uh, on a really expensive camera. It works very effectively. Um, I think starting with the iPhone 9, they started uh, putting, um, putting cameras that were about 10 megapixels, which is more than most uh, low-end cameras. It works. You always have your phone on you. You can always take good pictures. But setting up a little bit of light and a little backdrop after you're done with the run to get a photo for the cover, this should be able to help you get a better picture and have a better resource when you're putting together your book or whatever it is that you're doing. When I'm doing my runs, if I want to do each component individually, which is something I like to do for my books, and that way I can attach it to the recipe, I can set this up and I can do each component individually. Um, just plate it off to the side and then put it all together, put it under the light, snap a couple pictures um, just with my phone, and, uh, and then be done with it. If you have a tripod, you can do that as well. But there's a lot you can do with just a cell phone and a simple little light setup.